Hi, FPKC. Welcome to the forum. I just wanted to do a quick video to show you uh, how you can go about doing what you asked about. So again, first thing off, welcome to the video. Uh, welcome to the forum. Glad you could come, and hopefully this video will help you out. Maybe help a couple other people out too. So the first thing I'll say is your picture that you've you've given us is a really good one to work with. It's nice and big and it's clear. So the the first thing you want to do is go ahead and, and copy that picture. So what I do is I brought it up, and then I right click. And then click on copy image. So now I've got it, it's saved in my copy, so I can copy paste it to things. The second thing you want to do is open up one of your pattern, or I'm sorry, your picture editing pieces of software. Um, like James mentioned, GIMP or Paint.net. Paint.net is probably uh, the easiest one to get, and, and it's free as well. It's kind of simple to use. If you go into and search for it, go to CNET, that's a safe download. It's a free download, doesn't cost you anything. So it, it's it's nice. I like it. I use Paint.net all the time. In fact, I keep it down here on my toolbar. So once you've downloaded Paint.net, you've got it. You can open it up. So now you've got a new one. Now you've got your copy of your picture that you just right-click and copied. So now you can go Control V, which will paste the picture onto Paint.net. I always say expand canvas because it it makes uh, the picture in Paint.net not shrink any. So you keep all your details. So now you've got your picture inside paint.net that you can now manipulate and uh, it's, it's really easy to do so. These are all pretty standard. Uh, the thing I like to do is go ahead and just, if I want to change all of one color, like in this case all of the red, what you can do is use the magic wand which lets you go in there and if you see it's choosing all of any one color which is pretty nice. Um, so in this case of the red, if I just click on that it'll collect all the red that's within that space. Um, now, a really nice thing is you can go ahead and hold down the shift button, and then if you click on the red, you can see that all that color within this entire picture has now been selected. It's, you know, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but if you follow along and you click shift and then click on that color, it will select them all. So now what you do is come down on your toolbar, and you choose with the color picker, it looks like an eyedropper, you choose what color you want to fill that in with. In this case, you want to fill it in with this white color. So find a nice spot that you can get some white color. Probably right here is fine. So left click on that, and now you've chosen that white color. So now what you can do is you can come in here with your paint bucket tool, and then you can hold down shift, and when you left click on it, it fills it all right in, which is really nice. Um, now let's go ahead and do the same thing with the other colors, because I'm assuming you wanted this thing to be all black and white. So again, we can go ahead and, and we can go in there and use our... Uh, magic wand. Now if you wanted to just collect on this, select, select this one, you can. You already selected your white, so you don't have to choose it again. But you can go in here and go with your paint bucket and fill it in. It's just that easy. So let's go ahead and do them all at once. Magic wand, pick them all. Then paint bucket. And oh, hold down shift and fill them all in. So let's do the, the last little bit, this gray bit. Let's go ahead, magic wand, hold down shift, select them all, and then go with the paint bucket, hold down shift again, and fill them all in. So now this actually took all the color out of this picture, which I'm assuming is what you were trying to do. Um, if it wasn't, then, you know, obviously use paint.net, mess around with it, you can change the colors and fill it in. There's some other ways to do that, but this is the easiest way I've found to go ahead and get rid of colors. Um, you may want to go ahead and fill these back in with a little lighter shade of gray if you want to. Um, there's lots of things you can do, and these are all things that you don't just have to use paint.net for. If you want to do this within, if you have the probe, the um, pattern editor software that comes with the probe, I'll give you a little quick, quick example here. You can go in there, and any anytime you have a pattern that's yours, then you're allowed to uh, uh, you're allowed to change it. So let's go ahead and just double click on it. And what it does is it brings up the pattern in the pattern editor when you double click on it. So I've got this pattern right here. And if you look, there's lots of different colors here. Now say I wanted to get rid of these three uh, these three little dots, and I wanted to make the same color as this green right here. Well, the way I'd go ahead and do that is I'd click on this, and I could click on that. Now, what I don't want to do is just click on, uh, in fact, I don't think you can. You can just click on Control, and it doesn't let you do it either. So <laughs> let's do it one at a time. Um, and then you can click on your dropper to pick your, your color you want, and then fill it in. So again, you can just go back, use your magic wand to pick it, 
and then use your paint bucket and fill it in. Magic wand, pick it, paint bucket, fill it in. So again, you can see right there uh, just how easy it was to go through and take those three squares that were there. I'm just hit the back button. So you can see those were there, and then we went through and actually took them away. So that's just one more tool you could use. Again, welcome to the forum. Uh, please ask more questions. We, we love to help if we can. Uh, we love even more to actually teach you how to do stuff. Uh, so that way, you know, it's sort of a self-licking ice cream cone. We can carry on the wealth of information and knowledge. Thanks again, and uh, welcome to the forum. Bye.